Hey, how's it going? And on this episode of Fingerboard Finds, from someone you wouldn't expect, well, you saw the title. I guess you clicked on the video. You know who it's from. Ramon Angelo. He sold a setup on eBay, and there was something on that setup that I really didn't want to pass up on. So yeah, let's check it out. So as usual, we'll start off with the extras first, and there is a ton of stickers to go through. So there's a bunch of these Ramon Angelo trucks stickers. So that is really cool. There is three, six, eight of them. Eight of those. Got this Ozzy Berlin right here. Fingerboard connoisseur, Ozzy bricks. This blue one. There's this one right here. This Love Fingerboarding, Hate Fascism, Siggy Browse, this ASI. We got two small ones as well. These little Ramon Angelo trucks. And then some of these big ones. We got Heavy Petting, Ozzy Berlin Fingerboarding. I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's funny. And then there are these two pamphlets, which they're pretty neat to look at. And I guess it's just to kind of introduce people to fingerboarding. It says, what the hell is fingerboarding? Hopefully that was enough time for y'all to pause and check it all out. Because it looked like a lot of information I haven't gone through and read it yet. I'll probably do that as the video is uploading. Here's the second one. So that looks pretty cool. And fingerboarding is like on a whole other level over there in Germany. And then there was a poster too. On one side of the poster, there's Gene Sengis doing a, what is that, a lean to tail, I think is what it's called. <laughs> and this guy. So I'm, do I'm doing my best to hold it flat. I've been fighting with the poster, so hopefully it comes out pretty well. But we got Ramon Angelo, and then we have a signature right here. That is really cool. That's not all. I have one sticker left to show. And it's going to be this Ramon Angelo sticker. And again, it was signed. So that is really, really cool. And now for the main, the main event. So like a week or two ago, he had posted a story saying that he's going to sell one of his old setups and he's going to throw it on eBay and it was going to be a bidding thing. And what made it really, I guess, like, important was that it was one of his main setups so i was thinking because normally I don't, I don't do these bidding things but i thought you know what it'd be pretty cool so i clicked on the description just to see what was on the board because he did break it down and something caught my eye quick breakdown of the deck it does have fbs on top the wheels are going to be black river wheels they are the best four of two packs of wheels so the best four out of eight wheels the trucks are going to be some Black River 3.0 trucks, and the board is going to be a Berlin Wood low shape that he shaped himself, and it does have a shorter tail than normal, and it's going to be a 34 millimeter wide deck. But what caught my interest in this deck is these are the first prototypes of the Ramon Angelo trucks, and I thought that was pretty cool. So here is the deck. So it's going to be a blank deck, but I did ask if he could sign the bottom of it, which he did. And it's written in gold and also accompanied by a happy face. I think it's really cool. The trucks are grinded pretty heavily, but I mean, this, this guy's always fingerboarding, so that's to be expected. But I think it's really cool to have basically finally some one of one trucks because there ain't gonna be another set of these ones so now if i wanted to i can have like because i have plenty of one of one boards i have some one of one wheels and now i have one of one trucks so where where, where can i get some one of one grip tape and actually i think it's the same thing well i guess it'd be more accurate because i have prototype boards prototype wheels prototype trucks now so where can i get like prototype <laughs> grip tape that'd be cool just an entire prototype deck but nah, that's for another video maybe but this one right here 
it's really cool to have this in what's in the fingerboard collection because ain't nothing like it all right there ain't going to be anything else like it so as per usual let, let's see what um how it feels to i guess fingerboard a deck that he uses oh that was weird there we go Maybe Berlinwood should uh, start shortening their tails. And there will there will only be one of those because it is written with the marker. I don't I don't want to rub that off. Not not yet anyway. But that is really cool. So some interesting facts about this board in, at least according to what that post said, he did learn a lot of new tricks with this one. He did use this setup right here to film his part in the Antichrist video, which according to him was his peak moments when he was doing video parts by himself. So that is some really cool backstory about this deck, which is something that I like to learn about when it comes to like the graphics on certain decks. I like to learn the backstories, like the behind the scenes of it. So that's, to me, that that's really, really cool. Yeah, so obviously a part of fingerboard history and I'm super, super happy to have it. This was my most recent fingerboard find, which I think it's really cool. And another thing that I was thinking about, cause as the camera was off, I was flipping it around. It's a 34 millimeter wide Berlin wood. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, should definitely be more of these 34 millimeter white Berlin woods with shorter tails. It, it it feels really comfortable. It's a really, really comfortable board. The whole setup, it, it feels really nice. And I do appreciate all the extras. It's a ton of stickers and one, signing the board, signing the sticker, signing the poster. It is all really, really cool. I'll have the link to his Instagram if, again, for whatever reason you're not already following him, you can see a ton of fingerboarding he does post very, very frequently down in the description below so you can stay up to date with whatever he has going on. And I'll have my Instagram down there as well. Give me a follow. I do go live from time to time, usually later on in the evenings. However, that'll do it for now. Take it easy. Have a good one.